Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I'm here planning for the week of January 31st through February 6th. Hard to believe it's already February, but also hard to believe March, uh, January was still going on. So it's a lot of contradictions going on. Um, but for this week, I'm planning to use this kit from Life with Mayra. It's called Pink Beauty. Um, I kind of want to, for February, use a lot of pink themed kits or pink and red themed kits since there's Valentine's Day. So I thought that this would be a cute choice. I know it's Chinese New Year this week, but I didn't have a Chinese New Year kit. So I thought I would just go for something cute instead. Um, but I thought this one was really fun. I also pulled in a good amount of washi. All of these are from a Park Lane washi stack, uh, which you can get at Joann's. And then this one is from Amazon. So my plan is to pull in some more of the black because I like the touch of black and I kind of want to make more of it. So I'm going to make these two my bottom washies. And then I'm going to make these three be my um, header washies. I think I'm going to do the it's come everything's coming up roses along the top and then the gold foil in the middle and then this kind of darker pink color at the bottom. Um, so that's my plan. I'm going to stick down all of these things um, and then I will come back so that we can do all the interesting bits. All right, there is where we are right now. Um, I think it's looking super cute. I've now lost my preview on my camera, so fingers crossed you can see everything. Um, so let's see what the full box is next. So I feel like these two with the, the kind of pinkest backgrounds should go together. Um, and then I feel like these two that are like stacks should go together. So then maybe these two and these two are the other ones that go together. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the girls as my quote box, as it were. Did this, none of this cut through the way it was supposed to. This is gonna be terrible if I have to recut literally the entire thing. I tried using a different ruler and I don't know but I like that choice. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Um, usually I'm not one to like really wanna highlight the girls um, because I just, I don't know, they're usually not my cup of tea, I guess. Um, but I do enjoy their vibe on this one. Eek. Okay. Um, so then to like have the other one with a yellow background go with it. Um, that's this like lipsticks and that is going to go as my Thursday box. There we go. Um, now I feel like I need two of the white ones. Mm. I think I'm going to do the two with the bags. Let's try this again. I think I'm going to have to like trim one side of all of these to get it to let go sufficiently, but we'll see how this goes. Um, so this one, I feel like the way it's spaced makes more sense to put it 
this one on Wednesday, which means that this one will be for Friday. Nothing wants to let go today. It is super frustrating. Alright. This one edge is like not really smooth. There we go. Alright, so this one's Friday's. There we go. Now I'm going to do the two pink ones. Um, I'm going to do the perfume bottle on Tuesday because I feel like Louis Vuitton champagne should be like a weekend, a weekend thing. Even for Lunar New Year, I feel like champagne on a weekday might be a bit much. So that's what I'm going with. Um, also, we still have curling on Tuesday. It's not like uh, Chinese New Year is the kind of holiday that we take off for curling. So, definitely no champagne. All right, there we go. And then I think I'm gonna do the shoes on Monday because I feel like this little I'm just going to tear it and then trim it. Trim with scissors. Definitely, this is not the ruler I will be using in the future. It's my Cricut one, which I really like for other things, but not for prepping my kits. That's what I've learned from this experience. But we're going to get through it. Um, I feel like this Chanel bag looks too much like the perfume bottle. That's what I was trying to say. So I don't want them next to each other. There we go. Okay, that is looking super cute. And I like this extra black. All right. Um, for the sidebar. I think I'm going to use some more of this Everything's Coming Up Roses washi. Even though I have to turn this upside down. Uh-huh. Um, because I can only roll washi one direction. But I also just really like this washi. So that's what I'm going to do. So. Um, sidebar. I didn't like really grab that much stuff. To make up my sidebar. Because planning was not for me this week apparently. Uh, let's see what I have. Oh, one of these will be perfect. I think I'm going to use this one. These are leftovers from, I think, Organized Potato. So I'm going to use this one. Um, there, and then I'm just going to keep going sideways. By sideways, I mean upside down. because I don't want to keep using this washi. So I don't want to keep turning myself back around. Okay, after that, I'm gonna stick in a header. I feel like I probably have like a leftover like to do. I have a whole bunch of those. I also think this would be kind of cute. So this is like a super old header from Britannia Nicole. Her shop is closed at this point, but I have this leftover, so I'm just going to use it. I also have, this is a Happy Planner book. I think it's called like Gold Digger or something like that. I think this is the one with checklists in it. And it's totally not the one with checklists. Okay. I also have this one. I don't know what this one is called. Sorry. Um, it doesn't give me names when I buy them this style, which I got these at Target like a few years ago. Okay, there we go. We have checklists. I'm gonna use this like peachy one um, and just stick it going down the side. Like 
So, okay, I think that's everything that I would need to go upside down for. And then I'm going to also use this one and I think I'm going to use this little Hustle and Heart heart, which I'm just going to tear for fun. I'm just going to stick that in right there. I think that's really cute and I'm just going to call it good on the sidebar. For my weekday plans, going back into the same Gold Digger book, I'm actually going to use um, these guys. They're like the little reminder, reminder guys. Um, so I'm just going to stick a few of them. I said I wanted to like increase the amount of black that's in this one. This one was cut terribly. Can I even get my fingernail underneath it? There we go. Um, I kind of want to increase the amount of black, so this is part of that plan, to increase the amount of black in here. Um, and then, I'm gonna use this AM one as well. I'm gonna pull that out. I'll explain in a second. It makes perfect sense. Okay, so for Monday, I've got work Tuesday. I'm taking a half day. So that's why I have this AM because I'm only going to work in the morning. So I'm just going to mark AM. I'm just going to write work and then afternoon off or something like that. I'm just going to hold on to these two until I need them. Also on Monday, I am going to put up my plan with me. Do I want to use black for this? I kind of think I want to go a little bit softer. And I'm going to use a couple of these. These are Piper Paper Company uh, film tapes. I do have a 20% off code down below if you want to use it. No pressure. I do get a small commission for her shop if you use it. All right. Done. There's my disclaimer. That's for Monday. That's all I have. Oh, for my habit tracker, I forgot to mention, I'm going to actually track doing the show me your drills uh, daily practice. Um, it's a calligraphy drills basics free course I'm taking right now. Um, so it's daily practice. So I want to not forget that. Okay. Back to the originally scheduled plan. Um, for Tuesday, we have curling. These are the Prairie Planner ones. Obviously blue does not go with this kit. There is little bits of blue, but I don't think. Mm. I think the only blue is their like pants. Yeah. It's going to stick out too much. So I'm going to use two of these ones that say match um, on them. So that's going to be this one. And then I'll need the other one on Thursday. Um, also on Tuesday, it is Lunar New Year. You can see I whited it out, but I'm going to put it back in. Um, this is, oh, that could be kind of cute. This is a happy planner every day with Rung Rung collaboration. It's the mini size, but I personally think that they're kind of better sometimes in the mini size. So that's what I'm going to use. Do I want kind of like one of these long skinny ones mm -hmm. or do I want a square? takes up like an obscene amount of space, but I'm going to just do it. I'm going to put this little square guy down here. Um, we have to eat dumplings and it's like a whole thing. Um, so it'll probably take up a lot of my, my day, to be honest. I don't have that many other plans other than taking a half day because I need to use some PTO. And then because there's this like extra space here, I'm just going to stick one of these tiny stars from Happy Planner right there just to kind of fill it a little bit and call that good. Wednesday, other than work, I have no idea what's going on. So when we get to the second half, Thursday and Friday, I'm going to stick my little work guys down. Thursday, I also have curling again. 
and Friday I have a video that's going to go up. I don't know what it is, but by the time you see this, you'll know what it is. And that's all I really have. The weekend, I have no idea what's going on at this point, to be honest. So this is where I am right now with my pre-planning. Um, I am going to just very quickly, if I can pick these up. Let me see if I can. No, nope, these are going to be fussy too. My plan is to use these uh, little meal things because I don't have a meal thing in the sidebar. I'm just going to stick them on each day and just use them that way. So that's my plan. Um, that's all I have right now for the pre-planning. So stick around for just a second and you can see the finished spread. All right, here is the finished week. I'll do a little wiggle and a twerk. Hopefully you can see the gold. I can't tell how well it actually shows up in the current lighting. Um, if I don't mention it, it came from the kit from Life with Mayra. All I have left are these two half boxes. Otherwise I used up everything. So that's going in my leftovers, uh, which I really need to organize, but <laughs> haven't gotten to it. But if I don't mention it, it came from there. All of the washi tapes, with the exception of this skinny one here, all came from a Park Lane kit from Joann's. And then this one is from Amazon. Um, the habit tracker is from Organized Potato. Uh, this little things header comes from Britannia Nicole. Her shop is gone. And then this checklist as well as this hustle and heart are both from the Happy Planner. All of these guys are from the Happy Planner as well. Uh, Piper Paper Company, Creative Cavern Studio, a Happy Planner. This is from the Prairie Planner, Creative Cavern Studio. Uh, these are both from various Happy Planner kits. Um, Itty Bitty Sticker Co. This is a leftover. I'm not sure where it came from. Another Piper Paper Company. Um, Agenda 52 at Hobby Lobby. So is that one. Uh, Creative Cavern Studio and Creative Cavern Studio. And everything else came from the kit. So I tried to use the kit as much as possible and then pull in other things only when I needed to. Um, as always, please like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, lets me know what content you guys are liking and also... Uh, hopefully lets other people get a chance to discover my videos. Um, and then also let me know down below, are you doing pink and red themed kits for February? I would love to know more about that as well. And then follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz to see in progress and finished spreads. I tag all the shop, all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.